What's up, Kyle Gang? Uh, today we're gonna to be solving this problem, and it's actually really simple, and I'm gonna show you why. So it says, describe the region between the YZ plane and the vertical plane. So, let's see, let's, let's just see what it looks like on a graph. So what is the YZ plane? The YZ plane is just like, you see this section here? Boom, it's the YZ plane. Forget about the x-axis. This is where y, or this is where x is equal to zero, right? This is a zero. So anywhere on the x, the, anywhere on the yz plane, x is going to be equal to zero. So I can include like any of these values. And it goes on infinitely on the z value up and down, and infinitely on the y value as long as x is equal to zero. So and then we also have that x is equal to five. Well, when you have this equation, x is equal to five, what does it say about y and z? Well, it doesn't say anything about y and z. That means that y and z could be anything. That creates another plane at this here x equal to 5, that means it's going to be another plane where y and z can be anything, but limited to where x is equal to 5. So it's going to look something like this. Boom, but that goes on forever. I'm just constraining it, basically. So what do you got here? Well, you have this infinite area in between that goes up forever and out forever, but it's limited between x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 5. So boom, 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 it's all that area. So how do we describe it in a term? Simply, it's going to be x is greater than zero, but less than or equal to five, right? Yep. Actually, never mind. It's just in between, so it's not equal to. It's just the area in between. So yeah, that's the question right there. Boom, x is greater than zero, but less than five.